person will say, um, CJ, you're giving away your, you know, your recipe and stuff like that. Listen, this is the season of giving, right? It's Christmas. Let's give something. <music> Good night again everyone and welcome once again to CJ's kitchen. Um, tonight I'm not really in my kitchen. Um, I'm sitting around a table and I am about to answer some questions that I have been getting from you guys. Also to give you a few tips and you know how on your bacon and you know just overall your stuff happening in your kitchen. Um, some of the questions that you've sent me um i'll get right into it um you said um how long can the cake last okay so um as you know we've been doing the fruit cake and that is one of my number one um watch video on my youtube channel and i must say thank you all for subscribing to my channel because now i'm at a uh, 1000 subscribers and i thank you guys for that um, we've gone over our 4,000 watch hours. So, um, we are climbing. So, um, how long can you keep your cake? I mean, it's fruit cake. And if you're Jamaican, you know, fruit cake lasts for a long time. That's the cake we normally use for wedding and stuff in Jamaica. Normally, when you get married, you keep your cake in your freezer for however long you want to. You just know that you package it nicely and you store it in your freezer. Um, outside of the freezer, it can last for a long time. Um, one of the thing is, you know, if you have um, a packaging, I find that if you package it in a foil pan, it tend to take the taste of the foil pan. So you might want to use like um, car um, what they call the paper, like grease paper, cartridge paper. Um, sorry, not cartridge paper. Um, what's the name of the paper there? Wax paper. Um, you can use that and wrap your cake in and then wrap it with um, the, the serum wrap or the plastic wrap and then you store it in a closed container. You can also store it in a glass container. That will keep it for a long time. But what you do in preserving your cake, you keep putting some rum. Um, you have, um, in Jamaica, we have the red label wine. Here in America, the wine are very sweet. They're not so strong like um, the red label or the white rum to preserve your cake. They, tend, they will go off if you use the sweet wine. But if you use white rum, um, I'm not sure about other rum because I've never used another rum, but white rum, it, your cake will last for a long time. So um, if you want to keep it out of your refrigerator, just know that make sure you package it properly and you continue to put your white rum or wine on it. Um, and like I said, that can last up to a year, over a year, two years you know as long as you keep visiting revisit your cake and you know dump some liquor on there <laughs> some um strong liquor and that's one other thing um also to store it in your refrigerator um and make sure don't keep your cake in the refrigerator if you're gonna store your cake keep it in the freezer package it well Put it in um, some bag that there, um, there won't be um, freezer burn or anything like that. So, you know, you got to package it. Um, make sure it's tightly packaged like a, a, a sealed pack to keep your cake in the freezer because that locks in the moisture. When you keep it in a refrigerator, it just dries the moisture out. If you notice, if you have any cake at all and you put it in the freezer, in the refrigerator after a couple of days, you just dry right out. You keep that in the freezer as long as you package it well and keep it in the freezer, it can last for a long time. So you can do that. Also, all right. one of the other question is how to put fruit to soak. Um, I did talk about that in a previous video. Um, I won't be able to answer all the questions. So what we'll do, we'll put the question in a vlog or blog and put it under, um, put it below the video so you can always go and see the answer. We'll put the questions there and we will put answers as well. I don't want to take up too much time in doing this. It says, 
why i use molasses and burnt sugar instead of browning okay molasses i love molasses and i love the taste of molasses not too much now because it can get really um if you're jamaican you say clydy you get really clydy so um i just use a small amount and that is a a difference my daughter is over here correcting me and that is using um giving your cake a little different flavor from somebody else's burnt sugar i use um because when i find out when i use browning and for me who make a lot of cake when i use browning it tend to get bitter too much browning will get bitter especially if you're not sure of the brand browning every brand tastes different so when i realized when i started using brown sugar i was like yes this is it so i continue to use brown sugar and then it don't take a whole lot to make your cake get a nice color and it depends on the color you want you know you have people i sell cake right i bake and i sell you have people who like the cake dark you have people who like the cake light so depending on who you're baking for um i might bake a cake they love the taste but they don't like the color they love the color they always love the taste that's a good thing um so yeah and that is why i use brown sugar one of the other questions says why i put water in the oven when i'm baking okay so for a water bath it's called actually called a water bath in the oven where it helps to keep the moisture moisture of your cake um right so um you don't want to bake your cake at too much of a high temperature especially your fruit cake you want to slow bake because fruit cake is a heavy cake right you want to slow bake you notice how sometimes we bake even me i bake and sometimes the, um it will crack you know it will crack because there's too much heat but if you slow bake it it cracks but not so bad um one other thing too when you see the crack once you take your whole your cake out of that oven you pour your rum pour some rum on the hot cake that slows down the baking process and your cake won't dry out um one other thing we think that sometimes too and this is a tip too when you're baking and you stick your knife whatever you know you stick in the middle to see if it comes out dry it don't necessarily have to come out dry dry as long as it's not wet but you do see some cake crumb on your knife or whatever you pull out once it's crummy the cake is ready take it out the oven once you put it on the counter it tend to um the heat will continue to um dry your cake out and so once you take it out and it's you see that it's well once you check it and you see that it's well dry when you take it out you pour that wine or rum we normally pour i mix my um white rum with the red label wine and then i pour it over it that slows down the baking process so my cake don't get too dry out right so um that is one of the tip and the water bath in the in the water in the oven help to keep that moisture also in your cake and help to keep it keep it from cracking up so badly um let me see one more question it says um why um size of pan i bake with and why okay the size of pan you can bake with any size pan you want for me i keep the nine inch the seven inch and um the three pound loaves because of the different um product i do um with the round tins i use the nine and the seven inch for my cakes because i sell them and so if somebody wants like the seven inch or one pound the nine inches like a two and a half three pound depending on how much you can hold in there depending on how light your cake is so based on that that's how i and why i use those pans um why i don't line um why i don't line baking tins with parchment paper it takes them a lot of time <laughs> it takes a lot of time when i spray um spray my pan with non-stick spray when i spray that pan flour it my cake they come out nice you know they come out nice i don't have no issue parchment paper i'm gonna have to go cut and you still have to spray the non-stick spray in it anyways so i don't bother with that right
also if you notice when i am baking i tend to wear some t-shirts that written on it pretty lakawa that's representing our brand um we have a gym wear line um we got yoga mats or whatever but you can check out check this video out we're about to show you okay so for the next question um let's see what our next question is it says size of pants okay for the next question it says how to know how do you know when the cake is done okay um so <laughs> for the cake to be done there are different ways and different techniques but like for me i just like to stick something in there and mainly that's a knife now what happens when you use a knife to stick in the middle of your cake it leaves a it leaves a, a hole in there right um some cake sometime when the cake is cool you pour the wine over it or the rum over it it comes back together sometime it does not so what i normally do is just stick a cherry on the top but it's, it's something that we've done over the years is to stick a knife in it no um you have persons who might use a toothpick you know a skewer stick it, um depending you also have a cake tester that you can use there is different things to use but the way you know your cake is done like i talked about it earlier is when that um whatever you insert in that cake comes out clean and i also talk about that um it don't necessarily have to be squeaky clean when it comes out as if it looks crummy the cake is ready um once you take it out the oven the process of baking continues so then you don't have to worry especially if it's not a fruit cake because we don't only bake fruit cake but if it's not a fruit cake where you're not gonna pour any wine over it you just let it sit there you don't need to put a fan or anything on it to cool it you let it sit there the baking process takes um a little while to finish because once you take that cake out of the oven it is hot and it's very hot so it's not like it's gonna cool down right away so um like i said the knife or whatever you use don't to test your cake does not have to come out squeaky clean um one other thing though if the cake is looking like it's still um runny like when you put it in there on that testing thing that you're using the cake is not ready right um one of the question too it says um okay so i talk about that already where the freezer is concerned okay so like i said some of the questions we did not get all your questions um there's a mixer in my video that everybody's asking about um we will also put that in the description as well um in the blog um we'll also we'll just um get together all the questions you have and we will put them in i want to go ahead right now and wish you a merry christmas and a happy prosperous new year when it comes i know it's the season it's a season for that and like i said um it's one year since we've been on youtube you are one year and when i started it wasn't like i wasn't even thinking of where this was going but then we got um when we started climbing to the 1000 mark we actually got excited um and uh, so i hope this video is not too long also you all i want to tell you our first video which is the video of me baking that bit large batch of fruit cake um we got in a little bit of scuffle or a little bit of something something with youtube where um that um there's a tune playing in the background um just a little, little, little tune playing in the background and we're on um copyright um violation for that tune that is playing in the background so what we're gonna do we're gonna re um load upload that video and you can go ahead and um um just watch the new video once we put it up if you are new on here um and you did not it's the same video you are we just had to take that tune out of it that music that was playing in the background it does not belong to us we thought it was just a simple song it's a simple tune and we could have used it but apparently it's not allowed and because of that even because of that we lost some of our watch time kind of or, or whatever um youtube call it 
and so we are on violation for that so all right okay so one of the question two is um uh re-eggs like um one of the questions somebody wrote on um one of our videos saying why do we use why do we think we have to use um lime juice or why we say that it is raw um now when we use eggs in our bacon if you never use lime juice um it will have a egg you will taste the raw egg in your mixture um if there's another name to call it i don't know but i know we call it raw but then it's an eggy if you, if you don't want to call it raw it's an eggy flavor an eggy taste that you will get that will make you feel like sick to the stomach because it smells like when the egg is I don't know power is out what just happened to my light my light just went out <laughs> you all so um i hope this does work but yeah so i was talking to the about the egg flavor um so you don't want to be eating a cake when it's a fruit cake you want to taste fruit you want to taste the spices you don't want to be fighting with that egg flavor um they talk about taking the eye out of the egg there's some white stuff in the egg when you break it they said that is what give it that strong smell or that strong taste and we should remove that now if i'm doing a small batch of cake i can remove that but when i have to break five dozen eggs it's very hard to remove those they call it the egg eye right um when I have to do five dozen eggs, it's very hard to remove those, but I'll get, tell you something what happened. When you use that whisk, like a hand, hand mixer, when you mix that cake, when you mix that um, egg, when you're beating the eggs, because what I don't do, if you notice how I bake, I don't put my eggs right into my, my butter and sugar. I mix them by themselves. And I'll tell you why I do that too. All right, so once I use that mixer, electric mixer, those egg eyes that they call those white, little white stuff in the eggs, they attach themselves to the tip of that mixer, the blade of the mixer, right? And so when, I, when I'm done um, whipping my, um, my, my eggs, those things are whipped onto the, the, the claws or the, is it claws, whatever it's called of the mixer um and so why i mix my eggs separately is so much eggs and one of the thing and a tip too when you do your eggs like that if you want a stiff and a firm cake you mix your eggs separately and add lemon juice to it because the lemon juice help to firm the eggs so when you put your egg in your cake you have if you like your cake firm that is one of the technique you can use to get that firm cake right um and so that's why i mix my eggs separately um to have them well mixed um not all the time i like it because then you see too one of the things you have to know if you're selling cake to persons some people like their egg, their cake really tight some don't some like the flaky cake you just cannot please everybody but every now and then you can mix it up a little bit right also one of the tips is um you see in one of the video how I bake um, a large batch and that cake that I bake at that time tasted very good but that was one of the firmer um, the firmer texture of cake now one of the tips to get you know Jamaican we used to do we do our wedding cake um, is the same fruit cake but there's a technique to that too um, you use more fruits than you flour all right one of the thing we always do we do one pound flour one pound sugar one pound butter right um or if i am gonna do that one pound listen what i do i do one pound butter one pound sugar two and a half cup of flour that is less than a pound um, no, I don't even know how much <laughs> two and a half cup is, but I know it's less than a pound of sugar. I would go for two and a half pounds of raisins, right? And also one of the tips, you don't want to 
blend your raisin too much if you have a food processor you can use your food processor and chop your raisins um if you don't want it too thick in your cake if you don't want to be chewing on any fruit you can um shred it somewhat you know shred it and it gets finer but when you puree your raisins it makes your cake gummy right if you like the gummy cake by all means puree your raisins but there are ways oh um depending on what you do and the funny thing is person will say um cj you're giving away your you know your recipe and stuff like that listen this is the season of giving right it's christmas let's give something but not only that i might tell you i might show you and you follow my you might follow my technique to the t our cake will taste differently right um so they said seven brothers seven different minds <laughs> so it, you know um there's a technique that everybody uses and everybody does their thing differently um and you've seen a video where i tried that uh <laughs> um sorrel cake because somebody asked me i don't love sorrel so i don't know but i did the sorrel and i had pineapple to it tonight i went ahead because it's been two weeks ago since i baked it and i i just could not find the time to cut it because i've been so busy and i'm so tired tonight i cut it right before this video i cut it but it it was a bit off like because i had it out and i think because of the pineapple and stuff like that i didn't like the smell of it i was gonna taste it on here i'm like ah no so you notice if you notice that video i had given it a thumbs down because it did not work out for me but i'll be trying it again maybe next year <clears throat> the video will be up soon but maybe next year i'll give it a try and see how that comes out and so it's night time you all it's um actually 106 a.m and i have cake in the oven um, as you know, like I said, I bake and I sell and I want to say thank you for your support. Thank you for showing me the love on YouTube channel on, on also on, um, IG. We also have a business that's called pretty party decor and we will also put that link in there you can check us out as well so there's three business going on you all one is pretty lakawa and it's gym wear and if you notice my shirt it says pretty lakawa and don't you think i am pretty lakawa <laughs> anyways and for those of you who don't understand what pretty lakawa means it means you are beautiful we have and it's p-r-e-t-t-i l-a-k-a-w-a-h pretty lakawa and for those who know patwa that's the jamaican language and um, one of our languages um and we have pretty party decor p-r-e-t-t-i pretty party decor and that's on um ig as well and you can check us out like i said i'll put the link and i'll show you a couple of pieces of what i've done um the setup that i've done and I do hope you enjoy um, our, um, you know, our videos and we'll keep them coming for the new year. I want to continue when I'm not baking. I want to cook something for you and then I'll cook it and I'll eat it right here. So you'll get to see me eating what I cook. And if it tastes bad, I'll tell you. And if it tastes good, I'll tell you. Um, I'm going to use some cookbooks and see um, and to make different things, you know, just to have fun on here and stuff like that. So I'm going to go. And like I said, you have a blessed and a wonderful Christmas and a prosperous and a happy new year when it comes. And thank you so much again for joining and um subscribing to cj's kitchen ja be blessed bye